there. The main station building is actually made out of uh, a number of kits. Uh, the main building on this side, uh, this is all the country station from uh, the Wills kit range. It's quite a complex kit. I've uh, made this up, bodging some areas as well because I didn't quite know how to build it. Uh, on this side, it's got a bit of uh, what was left over from the wheels kit, the toilet block on the end, and the a Pico uh, country station kit as well, I think, in the middle there. Uh, this little porchway was made out of spares that I had left over from the uh, the wheels kit. The canopy is a, a mis mishmash of bits and pieces. Um, part of it is the, the wheels kit, which is up to this point. And then the rest of it are scratch built, um, so it all fitted together. It's quite a pain to do, but it's, it's not too bad. And as everyone knows, Backman have done uh, this, well, these particular buildings on the line, the London Brighton South Coast buildings, which uh, mine is sitting up there. You can't really see it, but there you go. Just about see it. Uh, they also do the Sheffield uh, Park other building as well, but that building in particular is um, sort of uh, all the way down the line, they're all very similar in build. Um, going back to the uh, station buildings, as I mentioned, these are all A4 super quick. Um, I'm not looking as I normally should do. Uh, when I went down to the Bluebell, uh, when I, before I first built this layout, I um, went to Horse de Keens and deliberately took side shots. Basically what I'm showing you now, I basically took side shots from all the way along. Snap, 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 snap. So taking, the, uh, taking pictures of the buildings and basically what I did, when I came back I scanned the A4 Super Quick kit into the computer. And then what I basically did was took all the photos that I took resize them and uh, reshape them and what I did was print out um, the buildings uh, the photos I took and made the building side of the buildings and then cut them out and then glued them on the side because the original buildings I think underneath were sort of stone buildings that they had printed on the side of the card so um, instead I changed them over to this because they're quite similar buildings Probably not with a great gap in the middle, but um, still, again, it was what I could do and what I was uh, could only get hold of, and that seemed like the best solution at the time. And uh, I think they come out quite well. It's quite popular now, and uh, again, that's featured on my uh, layout topic on the various forums. Uh, the lights again. Also got these little. Um, bundles of luggage on the platforms they were from uh, I think they were from scale scene I think um, platform again the seats from Pico water cranes from five and nine models um, I did change the trees because originally they were sea foam trees but uh, I went for I think a K and M trees that you can get from or well, produced by Pico I think then the line sort of disappears into the darkness down there somewhere as that leads out to, uh, into the garden, out into the loop. Um, you can see the sea foam trees up on the hill over there, um, which is sort of spray painted and not done very well. They need to be replaced eventually. Um, the back scenes I painted with my uh, partner and we uh, had quite good fun doing these, but the, uh, the blue is a little bit too in your face really, it needs uh, a little bit more white added to it to uh, make it uh, less bright and in your face. Uh, another little thing i got to do, so uh, that's uh, sort of on the list to do as well. But that's the layout anyway. Uh, the ballast, I forgot about the ballast. The ballast looks a bit jumbled up and messed up, that's because I've sort of relayed bits of track over the years and uh, and uh, originally when this layout was moved, all the ballast wasn't glued down. So what I did was got an empty hoover bag, hoovered up all the uh, ballast and then it came out as a jumble. As you can see it's all sort of mixed together with uh, 
sort of uh, grey bits and uh, sandy bits and yeah, all sorts really. Um, all these sidings are powered uh, when they decide to work. Uh, we have a three-way point there, that's from Pico again. I think that's the only express point on the layout going into platform four and five. Um, all the hedges are lynched and there's one of those cheap uh, trees again. They're all right, a bit, uh, a bit too dark a green, but uh, still they do quite a nice job. Anyway, that is the layout, and I'll talk you through various bits of stock uh, that we've built up uh, over the time, and uh, basically what I've done. Uh, today I thought, you, thought I'd show you uh, some of the rolling stock I run on the layout. Uh, the main rolling stock I use on the layout itself are uh, mainly these uh, bullied coaches, these are the older type um, I think there are about six or seven of them uh, these are the lighter green ones, the newer ones which are relaunched by Batman have a uh, darker green uh, these are the older type which you can sort of pick up for uh, about 30 odd pound or 25, 30 pound per coach sometimes a little bit cheaper uh, I was very fortunate I got six for uh, 30, it was not somebody offered to uh, them to me uh, over YouTube and uh, I thought that's quite good so I'll take them. Um, the other stock I run uh, is just behind, hopefully you can see that, I know it's not very well lit in here. Uh, they're the Monts or Hornby Monts or coaches, I've got quite a few of them scattered around. Um, there's two in that platform, there's a further two over the back. Um, these I bought so to replace the old Triang ones I originally bought when I started the layout. I've got one or two left which uh, I don't really run on here anymore. Um, these run very nicely, very nicely detailed. Uh, I'm awaiting another Monsel coach, um, the Open Third from Hornby which has been put back till June I think uh, this year uh, which will make uh, a nice set of coaches once that uh, comes in but that's the main passenger rolling stop uh, moving around you can see I got a few freight sets here and there uh, there's a set over there of the Queen Mary brake the Batman brake uh, we have a couple of uh, well, there's a little I think it's a two or three plank uh, wagon at the front there, that's by Backman. Uh, two Backman uh, vans there, uh, both seven. And then there's a Hornby, uh, I think it's a five plank wagon at the back. I've got quite a few of the Hornby uh, type wagons. There's a couple down there, or a few down there at least. Um, that's a kit of a uh, luggage or a parcel van uh, that was from uh, I think from Parkside or Springside one of the two uh, there's a day pole wagon over there as well a luggage wagon or van I should say there's another bully coach behind there and also a buffet coach uh, a couple of older uh, sort of Lima Hornby uh, coaches behind there which I don't run. Uh, I also got some Pullmans as well which I'll show you in just a moment. Um, a couple of a bit more freight over the back there as well. Uh, I also just built up this set of uh, wagons as well behind the Monsors, they're uh, pre-grouping wagons, LBSC, SECR wagons. I'll show you them individually in a moment. Um, I'll show you the Pullman's uh, now as well. Uh, this is the uh, coach I was just talking about. This is the LMS uh, stove 
van which uh, I bought from I think it was Hornby magazine who were doing a limited run of these um, I saw a prototype and thought uh, it was sort of necessary to buy one of these as uh, the believer has one um, their one is now painted in a Pullman livery and going in their Pullman set but it did used to run on the end of uh, the Pullman set beforehand and there's a couple of photos on the web of it running with the Pullmans in this livery um, this particular coach had quite a few problems um, it wouldn't stay on the rails and uh, yeah, it just had all sorts of issues with it um, I think the main issue is the the, the end wheel sets um, they sort of swivel to go around corners uh, which I don't think was a brilliant idea because I think other people have um, actually glued theirs in place or put a bit of blue tack underneath to stop it so rotating um, because there's enough play and movement in the middle axle to actually go around the corners um, I actually removed the wheels on this and replaced them with uh, slightly bigger wheels, I think 14 millimeters. I added on these and uh, it needed quite a bit of modification to take it. I also modified the middle axle uh, housing to give it a bit more movement up and down uh, which helped quite a bit. Um, it has run on the layout once or twice, I think there's a video somewhere uh, amongst my videos of it running on there in between the Pullmans. Um, it's a nice coach, sadly got a few errors on it, but still it's quite a nice coach, um, especially if you're collecting the Bluebell stock, so uh, yeah, it runs quite nicely and runs in my uh, Pullman uh, set. Um, there is also a thread on our own web of how to uh, modify these coaches to put the 14mm wheels in. Um, if I find it, I'll put it in the description box and uh, you can have a read. Uh, this is the Pullman set that I have. Uh, this is the main uh, Pullmans I run on the layout. Uh, these are produced by Hornby. Uh, the coaches I have, uh, the main important one in the middle is Fingal. Um, I actually came across these in a swap with a member on a forum. Um, a good swap really because um, I sort of needed these to do the Bluebell Pullmans. So we've got Fingal in the middle which is the uh, kitchen car I believe. Um, we've got a brake uh, Pullman coach here, number 51, which the Bluebell does have a brake but it's not in service at the moment. So a bit, of a, uh, a bit ahead of them at the moment. Um, that's the kit of parts basically that they still got to do um, put back together and restore so I don't think I'll be seeing that one in the uh, in the in the recent future anyway uh, so I've got the uh, Pullman brake Pullman kitchen uh, I also got car number 64 I can't remember the uh, actual name uh, but this one was given um, but uh, they all have working lights and uh, run very nicely. I actually had to make a few changes on Fingal because it's an older coach and they had an older um, style coupling assembly which you can still get from all good Hornby spares uh, providers. I think I got these from Abigail Spares again. Um, basically they have a different coupling assembly and a different bogey uh, arrangement so uh, but uh, you can get the set of parts to do to do the uh, the conversion if you still want this to have the uh, the close couplings as you can see these ones have. Uh, but these are the ones that uh, I mainly run with the the six wheel the stove van, um, which you'll see in a moment as well. Um, nice set of coaches, and uh, hopefully I can do some videos of those uh, in the coming year running around. Uh, this is the LSWR Brakeford Lavatory Coach uh, which was released to traffic a couple of years ago on the Bluebell um, used to sit in platform 1 I believe uh, painted red as a uh, fire coach or something um, I believe it's a Roxy Mouldings kit um, I bought this off of eBay 
year or two ago. Um, uh, went to a ridiculous money this one did because uh, somebody posted up a set of LSWR coaches but in different lots so every lot was a, a single coach so if you missed one uh, it screwed up the whole set but I managed to get hold of this one uh, which was probably the better quality of all of them uh, this paint was painted in southern region green um, and when I got it I repainted it to the LSWR livery so salmon pink and chocolate brown um, paints were from Phoenix Paints uh, the transfers were from HMRS uh, SR Monsel coach set so uh, it had LSWR in there as well uh, it's a nice uh, little coach kit besides the mainly plastic um, I think the roof is metal which gives it a bit of weight um, you'll be able to see this on a couple of videos uh, I think the promotion video of the layout uh, on the main uh, YouTube page has it on there on the end of uh, a set of coaches I think it's a Monsel set again uh, but it's a nice coach uh, you can usually tell uh, it's a lavatory coach by the misty window you can see in the middle of the uh, passenger compartments at that end of the coach you can see some of the windows are actually down and open uh, it's a nice little coach runs pretty well and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing this uh, in the future videos uh, uh, in this coming year when I get everything fixed and running again um, anyway but, uh, you can still get these kits from Roxy Mouldings, but they're all brass now, uh, it's brass, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, next coach. Uh, these coaches have always been quite popular on uh, the layout when I've run them. Uh, these are actually ratio kits, um, and I've sort of made them uh, into the Metropolitan coaches, as you can probably tell. Um, they do the job because people look at them and say oh the metropolitan coaches where did you get them from uh, as mentioned these are ratio plastic kits uh, these are actually suburban kits sub suburban coach kits I should say um, and these have been modified changed and uh, also uh, the brake coach here on the left uh, if I just move around you can see I've added the two windows in the end there um, I still need to do a couple of uh, bits to these coaches but I was looking at replacing them at some point um, I know a couple of companies make uh, make these coaches but in brass sadly um, so it's a bit difficult for me to build them uh, but anyway onto these coaches uh, I've basically uh, finished them in a sort of uh, varnish teak mahogany sort of varnish I think it was um, the bars across the door windows uh, they're actually just a piece of uh, nickel coated copper wire um, painted gold the transfers they came from a, a London model shop or a London transport uh, model shop I can't quite remember the name but if I find it I will put it on the description um, these are water slide transfers not the same numbers but um, still it's a metropolitan logo or crest uh, with the numbers of the coaches and the uh, and uh, they come out quite well I've got four of them and uh, you'll be able to see these coaches uh, during the 150th uh, London Underground uh, anniversary which is this year uh, there's a weekend coming up 13th and 20th I think they're running a steam engine met number one uh, with these four metropolitan coaches from the Bluebell which they picked up yesterday um, and also uh, another four wheeler coach which was recovered uh, and uh, restored on the Festiniog line which uh, hopefully we should see soon anyway and uh, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring that in a video in the next couple of weeks because I'm trying to get into London to go and see those because uh, uh, 
see this event anyway and uh, it'll be something quite special and I can't uh, don't think I'll live to uh, the next 150th so uh, I won't be around anyway uh, so I'll try and uh, try and cover that via photos and video but these are just two of four and um, they're quite popular coaches as mentioned and hopefully uh, hopefully we'll be able to see them in the coming uh, year on a couple of videos and they are in a couple of others anyway on the channel so if anyone wants to have a look I'm sure you'll be able to find them running in other videos uh, a coach everyone will know is the LNWR observation car um, people who follow me on forums and uh, Twitter and Facebook will know I've been building this for over two years uh, after a visit from Model Rail magazine which was mid-June or end of June I can't quite remember um, I sort of looked at the project again because originally I would built the whole thing out of plastic card and I had no idea what I could do for the roof or anything else really to be honest I sort of made a start on internals and but it just wasn't working and the moulding shapes weren't coming up very well and I sort of gave it up for a little while but I would come back to it every now and again to try and do it a little bit uh, sadly didn't get much further other than the pictures which are on my uh, uh, layout thread so it was sort of abandoned and then I sort of thought about what I could do with it and thought how I could make it a little bit more in-depth thought into how to build it and um, I sort of came across ratio plastic model kits again and um, I bought a couple of LNWR coach kits and I have actually the box here this is one of the, uh, the kits and as you can see it's an LNWR or XLNWR corridor composite kit or 732 now I bought I think four of those kits four or five at least and basically it's a cut and shut job some of the windows were the right size others weren't uh, I was mainly after the mouldings around the, the coach doors and the end of the coach uh, the white panel as you can see um, so basically it was a cut and shut job I cut it in several different places, glued them back together, strengthened it up. I put in a new plastic floor of the coach, as this is actually running on, uh, if you can believe it, a Triang uh, chassis of a coach. So one of the old uh, Monsel uh, coaches, which I've got still around, I've got one or two still around. Um, and that was chopped up, shortened, and uh, that was the base. I took the wheels off, I took the bogies off. Um, I then went about rebuilding what I had started. The only original parts of this coach are the ends. Uh, they're still the plastic hard ends I first built. That's one end. If I just move around the light. Uh, that's the other end. And they're all made out of plastic hard. Um, all the sides of the coach are the ratio kits uh, glued together. Uh, the extra sort of panels on the end, they're just little plastic card strips that I glued into place to uh, to sort of make the panels. Um, they're all this coach is painted with um, Phoenix paint and uh, lined with HMRS white lining. Uh, the, the grab handles on the doors, uh, they were just uh, wire again, painted uh, gold acrylic gold. Uh, the bogies under it are from the ratio kit as well. Uh, the roof is actually uh, an aluminium roof, which I can't remember where I bought it from. Um, I'll put up a link because I can't quite remember it off the top of my head. Uh, the little coach destination boards saying LNWR, observation car between uh, Londidno, uh, Betsy Coed and Blow Fistiniog. They're all made on the computer, all computer made transfers. Uh, again, the roof casting for the uh, vents and stuff, they were from the same company as the coach roof when I find out. I'll put it in the description box or I will just direct you to my workbench thread which has the whole build on this coach on it. So uh, if you want to read and see how to do one yourself, 
please feel free. Um, the LNWR, LNWR logos, um, or the crest I should say, and the numbers are actually homemade transfers using crafty computer paper, the white backed version. Um, again it's all glazed, uh, people are putting the coaches, the actual seats are actually cut down Pico benches and um, new legs made from copper and nickel wire. Um, the buffers came from the kit as well, they're white metal buffers. And it turned out quite well and it's very popular actually. Uh, I took it uh, to a couple of club nights and uh, it certainly grabs people's attention as no one's seen one before, so uh, um, especially in double O. So it's, uh, it's quite a nice surprise and quite a popular coach and uh, I get quite a few questions asked about it. Problem is I could spend till 2014 probably uh, talking about this one, how I built it, but uh, if anyone's interested I'll put it uh, with a little subheading um, and you can have a look at it on the workbench.